how to run from your twin flame forever and ever <laughs> I'm uh, no I'm laughing but I'm fed up I'm gonna run away already prepared my backpack see you later and uh, wish me luck I'm just kidding this is just for you to know that uh, I've been doing this for a while and it doesn't really work but um, there is some tips and tricks that I really learned during my journey and my journey is still continuing the process so I'm going to share with you how to exactly run away from your twin flame and how to not to run away from your twin flame how to how to overcome this but you can run it is possible stay tuned So the first thing, I'm just tell you that I am wearing this because my hair is super, super long, like a lion, and I want to put it down. My tools for the hair is in the room, but my flame is <laughs> sleeping, so I'm obliged to put this on. And uh, it's an amazing, beautiful, sunny day outside, and I'm very thankful for this day. It was three four five days or I don't know of rain and cold Ugh, super cold and super rainy I cannot and now it's finished it's time to make videos if I don't make now in the summer I cannot make it this time it's already 10 o'clock or something or 11 and uh, it's gonna be impossible because the Sun burns your skin in 5 to 15 minutes so I cannot make a video like this I am obliged to make in the, in the shadow or start early in the morning 7 a.m even early so let's start how to run away from your twin flame the first thing I want to share with you from three things is that uh, you have to face your fears because if you're running away from something it means that you are loving it from the your deepest heart you cannot imagine the more we fear something the more we love it I'm gonna share with you something imagine I envy the neighbor's land it has amazing big carrots and and apples let's say and we don't have we have very little stuff and i'm i'm envy and jealous and i go to the your land with a smile on my face and i say oh, he has such a big land i'm gonna take just a, a carrot and an apple he's not gonna say anything and uh, i run away but even though i'm smiling i'm running it i'm running from it and Deep inside of my heart, I am I'm feeling like, mm, what if the owner catches me and he gives me a rant like, hey, why are you taking my stuff? And, blah, blah, blah. and I don't want, I really don't want to listen to such things. And mm, deep inside of my heart, I know it's not the most ideal thing on earth to do. I, I know that I, I can just ask. I can ask for it. I can buy maybe and uh, instead I'm doing this so running away we are sending a signal subconsciously that we fear the situation and the other side of the coin is that we really love it and the reason for that is that we love um, the um, the exciting experience of that he is going to catch me so the twin flames is the same thing we are running away and we have this loving feeling we run away from fear but we are actually loving it because we know that we're gonna be caught by our twin flame so it's the same thing if you see the two things so uh accept your fears and uh, just know that uh, there's nothing to run away from because it's like the sky you're running away from the from the sky it's impossible the sky is constantly looking at you but before i continue with the Two other factors that I want to speak about just want you to know that uh, you are not in a relationship about twin flames if you if you resonate with uh, with uh, with what I'm gonna say right now uh, if it touches your heart that uh, you are in a, a relationship of uh, fear 
constant fear, hell and full of problems and no love whatsoever. There's just a little bit of human love. This is not to inflame experience whatsoever. If you have such things, you can skip the video. This is not for you. Okay? You can continue to see for uh, further help. Like in your journey, if you happen to find your twin flame finally, then this is what is going to happen to you. But if you are in this situation, you're not in the twin flame experience whatsoever. Twin flame experience means you you have encountered the God's love. Like it's not in your ex-girlfriends and boyfriends. It's not on your soulmates because soulmate means like it's your highest uh, best friend. It's your um, it's a, 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 a being that maybe it's in a relationship that is going to help you so so much. Like it's gonna it's just there to bring you a lot of love and. It's almost. It's also there to bring you a lesson. It can be painful. So that's it. That's it. No, nothing else. It can also bring pain and love, but not this the highest, highest love of. Wow! Like, what the heck is going on here? I feel my reflection there. I feel all my problems there. It's like my face is there, but it's just different. It looks different, but it feels the same. And. Um, it's so strong the love that I cannot be with this being. It's like I am with fire. That's why it says flame because it hurts when you have this experience. But it's also when you embrace the experience of the fire, you actually feel more love than embracing uh, cold coldness. Like when the fire is uh, extinguished. Um, so. I'm sorry, I have stones on my flip-flops. So, I just want to say that uh, now that you found your twin flame and now that you're resonating with your twin flame, you start to run away from it because it's such a strong experience, so high, so strong that you cannot handle. And it's exposing your fears. And from all this fear, you run away to do the opposite, to bring love, actually. You're doing it from fear, but actually from love. So... Um, I just want to say the second factor that there is no runner and catcher. Both are runner and catcher. The the runner and the catcher can exchange uh, roles because the the runner is actually uh, trying to awaken the other one, which is a catcher. Um, and it doesn't know how to say, how to explain, so it runs away so that the catcher knows what to overcome so next time there's no such an experience. The other thing is that uh, the runner is actually running away from itself, from all the fears that he has. So it can be from both things. So 75% of the time I am the runner and 25% of the time is Patty is the runner. So I, we have saw this, we have uh, perceived this uh, in the recent days that... Uh, uh, it's her who's running away sometimes and I understood that there's no running or catcher it, it can exchange it's just that depends which one has more things to uh, detox or build up or whatever the other thing is that there's no running and catcher is the first thing uh, it's there's only acceptance or love and but before I continue I'm just gonna say that uh, where is the title of the video? I mean, how to run away from your twin flame. If you want to run away, you are fed up. You, you finally want to finish this story. Everything is collapsing. You don't have family. You don't have friends. Everything is shit. Okay? Everything is crap. Let me explain what you need to do to run away. So, there's two, two, two ways to run away from tw your twin flame. The first is the temporary one. You go to nature, 15 minutes maximum. 30 minutes, the, the longer you want, I don't know. I feel perfect in, in nature. Afterwards, I, when I go back to my twin flame, it's, everything is okay. There's nothing wrong. And we hug each other and everything is okay. And the second one is you run away like very distantly. You, one month somewhere else, I don't know. I went to Portugal for one month from Bulgaria to Portugal. It was October... Uh, to one year and a half ago um, and uh, it was interesting because I felt that uh, I was actually healing for the first time 
and I had a lot of uh, time for to make YouTube videos. It was amazing. But there was something. Uh, when we saw each other again after one month, because we couldn't handle so much, uh, uh, so much with the distance, we finally had uh, the love coming back again. But the problems came back along because problems and love is the same thing. Let me explain. It's like you are dating God. You are dating God, and in a human form, you are just trying to accept the human form or just trying to accept the God. You have to accept both, because the divine love is God, and the problems is the uh, is the human. But the problems doesn't mean that it is bad. It's just what comes along with. Uh, you have to accept both, and I'm just going to say that. Um, it didn't really, really solve the problem, but it made me grow somehow. So it was very helpful, very good. But I'm just gonna say again, don't run away from your twin flame if you, if in your heart you are ready to accept your fears, because there's nothing to run away from. And when you don't run away, in the end, you feel that you are winning the journey. You are not losing it. It's when you run away that you feel like you're losing it. Somehow you feel like you're winning, but at the same time you're not. So, and now I'm going to finally answer the question. How can you really run away permanently from your twin flame? Wow, this is a very big one. Do you really want to run away permanently? Well, I felt many times like this and uh, I, I want to help you out. To help you out. Uh, you can run away permanently. And, uh, but... You have to choose the old earth or the new earth. The old earth is because you are so attached to the material. You, are, you love your routine life. You love your friends. You love your family much more than your twin flame. Then yes, you can forget your twin flame. It's going to be very difficult. You have to drink alcohol, smoke. I don't know. I'm just saying that you really have to ground yourself. You have to forget completely. It's going to be very crazy. It's, uh, it's impossible, but I'm just trying to understand your position because I don't want this for my life but if you really want you it's impossible but you can kind of forget about it um, it takes a, a long time and I wish you luck because uh, the twin flame is like the Kundalini it it makes you a scar on you Kundalini awakening that's it you awake the Kundalini you cannot go back to your life so you want to find out your twin flame is the same thing. It's the same thing. You you awaken a Kundalini, you cannot go back. You cannot just forget your twin flame. She's there, and I mean, you can fake your life and and uh, draw and draw. Uh, no, you know to become. You can attract your old life again, but you're choosing the old earth. You're gonna stay on your old earth. You cannot just. Uh, you know, expect to uh, f to be okay. But look at look at this. Um, it's like going to sleep and you 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 dream that you're flying. You say, "Ah, I'm flying and stuff." And then and then, and after a while, you wake up and you're not flying. And you say, "Oh, I want to go back to the dream." You cannot accept the fact that you are a spiritual being living on a human body. You just you cannot uh, leave Earth forever earthly. Earth itself has a spirit. It wants to to move on. If you want to stay like a clamp, this doesn't work because uh, uh, you know what happens to clamps and and to ticks and stuff that uh, sucks blood. It uh, it has a very short lifespan, and we just remove it because the chi energy is not connecting. That's why I love to promote on this channel. Tai Chi, Geo's energy healing, to move this energy out of you. Amazing. And uh, electric uh, cellular light transformation from diet and lifestyle, and um, many other things. Twin flames, also energy, static energy. And uh, that's it. Except the fact that you, you, can, you have to make a choice. You want to be sleepy or you want to be awakened. You want to be the book or you want to be God? You want to be heard hearing legends or you want to be the legend? Accept which one.
It's going to be up to you. Um, supreme being, divine soul. And uh, I'm super, super grateful to make this video for you. I'm very grateful to be here with you right now. And I just want to give you um, lots of love for your journey. And I hope everything is going to be okay with you. If you like the video, give a, a like. If you vibrate with my being, if you vibrate, subscribe to the channel. But if you want to take to the next level, because YouTube only only notifies 5 to 10% of my subscribers, then subscribe to our platform, which is in the comments, the first comment, or in the description, the first link. And you're going to be notified like whenever I put the video. It's going to be very nice. I wish you everything. And if you don't know how to use the platform, there's a video with it will explain everything I'm gonna make a video I didn't make yet but I'm gonna make thank you very 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 much for everything and uh, there's a card here how to use the, the platform thank you very much for everything peace be with you enjoy enjoy namaste